There's a nice little channel here, got the waves just here on the lip of the bank that I'm standing on and you'll see waves breaking out there, they'll die away. See how that wave disappeared? Basically what that is, it's breaking on a bank out there, it's getting shallow, breaking on the bank and then it hits the deeper water in that little channel that's running along here and then it doesn't have enough depth for the wave to break so it'll just bubble away as it's doing now. The wave will disappear and then come in here and break on the little lip here that I'm standing on. So you've got the, the bank you'll stand on, the little lip where it's breaking right on the bank that you're standing on, and then you'll notice the waves will build on that outer bank, break, and then they'll bubble, die away. So that's giving me an absolute indicator that there is a channel right here and I only need to cast out at about sort of 50, 60 meters. That'll be the middle of that little channel. Fish will come in here, mooch up, up and down this little channel, and then move back out, and so on and so on throughout the day. Obviously night time, early morning's the way to go, but uh, we'll see how we go casting out a bait um, while the sun's up. Hopefully we get into a uh, few fish. It's a good thing to do is get up on the top of the dune and you'll see it all, and you can see it there. See how the bank goes out and then it's the water's a lot closer here. There's your hole. And then it goes into another bank over there. So look at that hole right there, that's a perfect scenario. Got the flat and then the hole. So that's perfect, that's what you want to look for, for those high tide spots, I've marked it. We'll come back here on the high tide, park up, and we'll be able to cast into that hole over the high tide. Fish will come in there, mooch in there. More so in the evening, early morning. Obviously fish come in when it's a bit darker. That's the time to do it, early morning or late evening. Now also what I'm running today, I've actually gone to a flasher rig and it's one of the Maxi Strikes Mutsu flasher rigs. The Mutsus are basically a recurve hook and what I'm hoping is the fish will just hook itself. When I see the rod buckle over, I'm hoping that it'll just stay buckled, the fish has hooked itself, so see how we go.
so I'm hooked up. Those Mutsus did the trick. Wasn't it? The rod buckled over, bites came on, didn't strike, just started winding. And we've caught our first fish for the morning. What it is, is it's a kawai, and that's okay. That gives me some fresh bait for surf casting. And the great thing is, places like Midawai just hold a lot of these kind of fish, the, the kawai. And it's a great place to uh, bring your um, kids to come and have a fish. Old Midawai holds some nice fish for not only you, but the kawai for your kids. Kids would love catching these. They'd just come out here and have a blast. And there you go. Just what we were after. Nice fresh kawai. It's pretty bright, so not really expecting too much in the way of snapper. You'll get small snapper, they'll come in here. But if you're after the biggest snapper, you can fluke one and luck one. But your better chance is that, like I keep saying, that early morning while it's still dark, or late evening going into dark. You want to sort of get that tide right where it's dead low, and you know you're going to be standing on that lip at dead low, so you, you know, it gets dark at about 7.30, you want that dead low at around that 7.30, 8 o'clock. So you're standing right on that lip, casting right into that channel. Got a bite there. And hooked up again. <laughs> yep. Woohoo! Hooked up again. Feels like another kawai. But man, it's a lot of fun. And easy to do. Like I'm saying, bring your kids, they'll love it. On a day like this, sun's out, beautiful day, light winds. And I'm hooked up and it actually honestly feels like maybe a snapper hasn't jumped out of the water. And it actually, yeah, feels a little, little bit more like a snapper. We might be lucky. Doesn't feel big if it is, but yeah, it's a snapper. I'll go down and get him so we're not dragging him through the sand. Might have to let him go. So you don't want to drag him through the sand and get all sand through his gills and stuff. And yep, it's a nice little snapper. Nothing big. And there you go. Just a little snapper. Now the crazy thing is, is he's probably takeable out here on the west coast. 27 centimeters and he'd be that. But um, yeah, we won't keep him. But that just shows you, there's snapper there mooching in that little channel. Like I was saying, the little ones will be there. Sun's up, the bigger ones are probably a little bit more scarce, but hey, you gotta have a line in the water to catch something, so I'll get him back. And he'll go out as that tide draws out, he'll just follow that. Nice little snapper on the surf caster. Even though it's small, basically it's made my morning. Caught a, caught a kawai, little snapper. Hey, we might even get a decent trevally. But yeah, this is a, an awesome spot. Middle is awesome spot. Like I keep saying, bring your kids up, get them into a bit of surf casting. It's not rocket science, it's easy. Get online if you can't tie knots or rigs or whatever. Study it, get it going on, get your kids out here and amongst it, they'll love it. Those uh, Mutsu flasher rigs are working a treat. Basically caught two fish and two baits, and I haven't had to strike, and that's what I was saying about those Mutsus. 
Those flasher rigs are awesome even to surf cast with. Just get your um, breakaway sinker on the bottom, swivel at the top, basic, easy, and the fish are just hooking themselves. What an awesome day. Be nice to catch a few more, but hey, at least I've caught a couple. And to be honest, I don't have to come out here to catch a heap of fish to have a brilliant day. Just a couple in the bin, catch a couple, soaking the line, flicking the bait on a beautiful day. It's pretty much what it's all about. This is when it starts getting a little bit difficult. Oh, got another bite there. What I'll do, I'll just get ready. I won't strike, I'll just let the fish try and hook itself, but I'll get ready to wind. Look like another little snapper bite. But yeah, as I was saying, this is when it starts getting a little bit difficult to fish. We've been pushed off our little bank there. The waves are breaking out in front of us, probably about 20, 30 metres, and it's constantly breaking on the line and it gets a little bit difficult to, to fish. Got another little tap there. Another one, oh, getting a few bites. But yeah, it's quite hard to fish sometimes. And that's why you want to come out here on that low tide, come and do your fishing, get a couple of hours in, two to three hours, and then move back to your high tide spot, fish in a hole. This will produce a little bit better for you. It's more productive. The hole will give you some fish, but not as much, unless you pick a real good one. So I'm still getting a few bites there. I've got some fresh carp. Yep, there you go. Hooked up again. Yeah! <laughs> like I was saying, I didn't strike, just lifted the rod. Actually feels like a stingray, this one. But in saying that, they get kingfish. Oh, oh no, he's still there. I think it's a stingray. I felt him sort of clip across the line. He's swimming towards me. Definitely feels like a stingray, but you just never know out here on the west coast. It can be a, uh, can even be a big snapper or a big trevally. But man, just having a having a blast. Even though it's kawai and a stingray, quarter snapper, it's just a blast. It's it's so much fun. So the bank's starting to um, show itself out here. I mean, here's a hole right here right in front of me and that's where you want to be fishing on the high tide way up there you want to mark it off the um, sand dune there tie something on the tree or whatever and you know there's a hole right here and as you walk along here and look up there you can see that bank is starting that's out of the water and that's already 100 meters out and here's the whole bank over there other side of the bank is another hole. See the hole there? That's a really good hole to fish on the high tide. That's a real nice hole, that one. This is what I love. Is to see that bank there? It's out of the water. There's water right here. And then it's dry over there. More water over there. So there's your bank. That's where you want to walk to. And then on that lip of that bank, You've got the breakers, then it'll go down into a channel, and then it's breaking about 100 meters further out. There's a channel, real nice channel running up and down. Perfect for surf casting into. Woohoo! Hooked up! Feels like a nice snapper. doesn't feel too bad not expecting too much in the way of snapper being bright 
Yeah, boy. Nice snapper. How's that? Nice snapper off the uh, sand there on the surf caster. Didn't expect that. Has clouded over a little bit, but um, yeah, we're just fishing in this. It's not really a hole. It's a little bit deeper, but yeah, it's a nice. That's a nice fish. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.